Welcome to Byte Further. In today's video, you'll learn what to do when your iPhone 13 keeps turning off. If you're a newbie on tech, it is challenging to locate and identify the exact reason why your iPhone 13 keeps switching off randomly by itself. So, we're here to help diagnose the unexpected shutdown issue one by one. If your iPhone 13 randomly shuts off and won't turn back on, the cause could be the battery power itself. If your iPhone 13 keeps shutting off randomly with above 70% battery then it finally turns on with a low power, the cause could be the software glitch or malware. If you experience an iPhone 13 random shutdown after an update like iOS 17, the software firmware could be damaged or the installation process may go wrong. If your iPhone 13 falls down or gets wet, obviously the hardware damage causes your phone to keep shutting down on its own. Now, you should figure out the causes. Next, you need to take steps to fix it and stop the iPhone 13 from shutting off randomly. We'll show you how to do that. Step 1. Make sure your iPhone 13 has enough power. This has to be number 1 on the troubleshooting list when your iPhone 13 randomly shuts down. Since you have done nothing to trigger iPhone 13 shutdown, it's most likely that the battery is lacking power to let the operating system and other procedures run normally. Alright, take the lightning cable and charger and connect them to your device. Next, plug the charger into a wall power outlet. This ensures enough voltage to charge your iPhone 13. Don't recommend computers USB ports. Meanwhile, a battery getting overheating is one of the factors potentially causing random iPhone 13 shutdown. So, cool down your device first if it's hot before charging. Then place your iPhone 13 in an environment with an appropriate temperature like 25 degrees Celsius to do the charging. Step 2. Remove malfunctioning apps. When your Apple iPhone 13 keeps turning off, this may be the action the phone takes to protect itself from the new changes on the phone. If you jailbreak your phone, you better go back to the store where you do that to let the technician there to fix it. If you recently add new greedy apps, remove them. Find the apps on the home screen. Long press the app icon. From the pop-up menu, choose remove app and then confirm. Now, inspect if your iPhone 13 stops shutting off repeatedly after the app's removal. Step 3. Force shut down your iPhone 13 correctly. Compared with the unexpected shutdown, turning off your iPhone 13 with button presses correctly is a safe way to close background processes and apps. It helps clear away the glitches and errors that emerge suddenly causing the device to shut off. Now, follow these steps to do it. You will have no risk of losing data. Quickly press the volume up button, volume down button and then keep holding the side button until the Apple logo shows up again. This may take around 15 seconds. You can make a few attempts if it fails once. Step 4. Enter recovery mode to update iPhone 13. Doing an update is always great to improve the performance on your phone. However, an update will also lead to chaos if there are potential bugs coming with it or there's something wrong with the installation process. If your iPhone 13 screen keeps turning off after an iOS update, you should suspect this possibility. This usually can be fixed by installing the latest update and will teach you a new way to do that by entering the recovery mode and using a computer. Now, follow these steps to do it. You will have no risk of losing data. Attach your iPhone 13 to a computer with a cable and run iTunes or Finder. Then, on your iPhone 13, quickly press the volume up button, the volume down button and then press the power button and keep holding it for a few seconds. Don't release when the Apple logo appears still keep holding. When you see the recovery mode screen showing a laptop and cable, let go of the button and go to the computer. On iTunes or Finder, you should see a pop-up window. If not, click your device icon to open it up. Then, choose the update option. The update process will begin after you finish all the on-screen instructions. Your iPhone 13 will boot up itself after 1 to 3 hours. It should stop turning off randomly and constantly and go back to normal state. Step 5. Enter recovery mode to reset iPhone 13. Malware is a serious cause for your iPhone 13 shutting down on its own. It could be hidden anywhere from the systems to the files you've saved. That way, the remedy is to wipe your device. It can then stop iPhone 13 from turning off randomly by installing a brand new iOS system and let you use it from scratch. Now, follow these steps to do it. Note that this step results in data loss. We only recommend doing this if you have backups. 
Connect your iPhone 13 to a computer with a cable and run iTunes or Finder. Then, on your iPhone 13, quickly press the volume up button, the volume down button and then press the power button and keep holding it for a few seconds. Don't release when the Apple logo appears. Still keep holding. When you see the recovery mode screen showing a laptop and cable, let go of the power button and go to the computer. On iTunes or Finder, you should see a pop-up window. Then, choose the restore option. The reset process will start after you finish all the on-screen instructions. Step 6. Go to a repair store if iPhone 13 is dropped or wet. It's inevitable to break or damage a smartphone sometimes. A cracked screen, broken buttons, degraded battery, wet internal components and so on all can cause your iPhone 13 to randomly go black and keep cutting out. Instead of repairing them for yourself, it's wise to visit the Apple Store. The genius technicians will run a diagnostic test to check battery and hardware thoroughly and then provide you with useful help. That's all for how to fix an iPhone 13 that keeps turning off. If you find this video helps, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.